Hey there, it's Sarah. Today I'm going to be doing another recipe test. I'm going to be trying out the easy seitan steak recipe from the Edgy Veg website. I've actually been following her YouTube for a couple years now, but somehow I've never tried one of her recipes, but that is about to change because tonight I wanted to make seitan fajitas, so I googled for like a beefy seitan meat substitute, and this was one of the top hits. Um, I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, that it turns out well because I don't actually have a protein like backup if it doesn't turn out well. But I have all the ingredients measured out here. It all smells pretty good, so I have high hopes. The recipe will be linked in the information bar if you want specific measurements. But we're going to start out here with our dry ingredients in this big bowl. So I have some vital wheat gluten, and then I also have some chickpea flour. And I had a bag of this that I purchased a while back that I used to make Burmese tofu, which is a type of like soy-free tofu, which is pretty good. And you can also use this to make like fake scrambled eggs or omelets. Um, if you have leftover after this recipe. Found both of these ingredients at Whole Foods um, by the Bob's Red Mill brand. Also have a fourth a cup of nutritional yeast. This is really important when you are trying to make a meat substitute. It adds that savory element. Then here I have some onion and garlic powder as well as some fresh garlic, really finely minced, and some brown sugar. I'm gonna add that in here. And then I'm gonna give all of these ingredients a quick stir. Setting this aside, let's move on to our wet ingredients. So in here I have a cup of veggie broth, and I actually use these not beef vegetable bouillon cubes, completely vegan, but they just add a more savory, beefy flavor. Um, I think you can use whatever type of vegetable broth you already happen to have. I also have in here some tamari, some liquid smoke, and some barbecue sauce. And you also have the option of using ketchup instead of barbecue sauce if you'd like. Then a couple of dry spices as well, just some black pepper, some thyme, and some chili powder in here. And she also said to add some dried parsley, but I personally don't really like parsley, so I didn't have any on hand. I'm just going to skip that part. I'm going to assume it's going to be okay. Now we are going to pour the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. Mix it up. Now that I've got all the ingredients just incorporated, I'm going to knead it for a minute or so. Just to develop the gluten a little bit, I guess. Okay, and here is what the dough is looking like after about a minute of kneading. It's very soft, it's wet, but it's not sticky to the touch, so when I touch it, none of it comes off on my hand. Okay, and now I am to divide this into two logs. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. So at this point, the recipe says to go ahead and set these on your oven um, for like 10 or so minutes while the oven is preheating to 350 degrees. And while the oven is preheating, we are going to mix up the last bit of our recipe, which is ugh, in this big, heavy Dutch oven, or you can just use a deep casserole dish. Dish, deep casserole dish. Um, we're gonna be mixing like a braising stock. So already in here, I have some water and some more of that not beef veggie broth. Also have some just crushed garlic and some diced onion. It's almost like a vegan pot roast. And in here, a bunch of different flavors, more barbecue sauce and brown sugar, some molasses and some Dijon mustard. I think that's everything. Oh, and also some more tamari in here. I also forgot I'm supposed to add some bay leaves. One more at the bottom of this container if I could get it out. My fingers are not long enough. <laughs> there you go. And I just realized I mixed up a part of the recipe. I was supposed to put the thyme in this braising stock instead of in the actual seitan, but I think it'll be fine. I like thyme, whatever. And now we're going to place our cute little seitan logs inside the stock. And we're going to bake this covered for an hour. Then at that point, we're going to uncover it and cook it for another roughly 30 minutes until it's done. At that point, I will be back to show you and taste test with you. Oh! Back with our completed seitan steak. Smells pretty amazing. I gave it quite a while to cool down, and the braising liquid thickened up a little bit. It's almost like a gravy, so I spooned a little bit over our little seitan log, and I'm going to give it a try. The texture's pretty firm. It was pretty soft to the touch when I first took it out, but like I said, I did give it quite a while to cool down. First impressions, good. I would make this again. Uh, I like the texture a lot. It isn't like a, like a firm cut of beef. It's not rubbery or chewy or anything like that. Texture really reminds me actually of meatloaf. So does the flavor too, actually, because I used to make this meatloaf when I was growing up 
that had either ketchup or barbecue sauce and brown sugar glaze on it. So this is really throwing me back to that and the texture is pretty similar as well. It's sort of like if you wanted to make meatballs or like vegan Salisbury steak or something like that, this is a good recipe for that texture wise. I think this would be very versatile as well. Like I do intend to slice it up and pan fry it a little bit for the fajitas tonight. But um, on the recipe website, it also mentions that you could like slice it really thinly and make a vegan uh, Philly cheese stick. So I might try it in sandwiches as well. I also think that you could very easily tweak the spices and maybe use a different barbecue sauce or even like a stir fry sauce or a buffalo sauce if you wanted to get a different flavor. I also think this would be a good thing to make and serve even just as is with a little bit of that gravy. Um, with a side of like mashed potatoes or asparagus or green beans for a holiday, maybe Thanksgiving coming up. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe you will give this edgy veg recipe a try. I will have it linked down below. If you're new to my channel and you enjoy these recipe tests or other videos on the topic of vegan food and lifestyle, please subscribe. I would love to have you back here and I will see you in my next video. Bye!